analysts yesterday accused the first lady auxiliam nangagwa of untwisting the police to issue a statement exonerating her and her son collins from the henrietta rushwaya's gold smuggling saga the first lady and her son were fingered by rushwaya's accomplice gift karanda who's 44 years of age as owners of the six cages of gold which was intercepted at the robert gabriel mugabe international airport last monday while being smuggled to dubai but on sunday she challenged the police to prove that she and her son were involved adding that she was innocent Karanda had told detectives at the airport that the gold Rushwaya was carrying belonged to the first lady and Collins, who was supposed to have brought it, but due to other commitments, he had requested Rushwaya to transport it on his behalf. However, analysts have said the first lady used her political muscle to force the police to exonerate her. Political analyst Ibo Mandaza said the issue left a lot of questions about the first lady and her son since the statement was subjudice, adding that it all pointed to arm twisting. It's all arm twisting and it leaves a lot of questions in the public opinion. I think any person should leave the court process to go on to prove whether that guy, Karanda, was lying or not. The issue was a wash on social media. Actions by the first lady leave a lot of questions. We can understand a lot of questions and we can understand the position of the police, but it doesn't argue well for the first family to make such a subjudicial statement, said Mandaza. Another analyst, Alexander Lucero, said Zimbabwe was being ruled by law as opposed to the rule of law. Rule by law is where the powerful will never be implicated. In such circumstances, someone always has to be arrested, fired, or even jailed on behalf of the powerful elite. This case in point is a clear illustration of what is at play as much as the rule of law in Zimbabwe is concerned, said Rosero. Collins has previously been linked to a 60 million US dollar COVID-19 procurement scandal involving the former health minister Obadiah Moyo, who was arrested alongside Drugs International representative Delish Ngu.